Hello, this is Dale Sharman. I'm Team Lee for the Theme Studio 5.0 product. Today we're going to take a look at putting a theme together from scratch. So the first program we're going to launch is called BlackBerry Theme Builder. You'll notice when we start out, we can select from any of the pre-existing devices that we support. So it goes all the way back to the 8700, support for the Storm, and the Tour, and all the way up to the new bold 9700. So today we're going to create a theme for that device. You notice that in the interface when we come in, on the left we have the preview area, and on the right we have the inspectors. And the inspectors are broken down into the various screens we have. So the message list screen, the phone screens, the lock screens, and all the different properties that we can uh, change are on the right here. So the first thing we're going to look at is changing the banner profiles icon out. So we're going to change that to this. And you see on the right when we change it, to reflect in the preview on the left. So the next thing we're going to look at is actually looking at starting in the home screen. So we're going to switch the background out here to something different. So you can select from any of the different images you already have on your disk and it will automatically resize them to the proper size. Uh, if you wanted to pre-scale them you can use an image editor of your choice, pre-scale them and bring them in. Next, we're going to look at creating a very similar screen to the Zen screen, except we're going to have the application launchers be along the left and the right side. So we're going to do three along the left and three along the right. Um, so basically, you can select them all and change their properties all at once. So we're going to change the focus icon for each of these application launchers to the one we used in the banner profile area already. And the next thing we want to do is um, add a little pizzazz. So you can sele select animations for these uh, when you focus into them. So on the left, the three ones on the left are actually going to bounce in from the left. And the three on the right, when you focus in, will actually spring to in from the right. So you'll see that once we get it up and running here. We're just going to realign these things with the alignment tools bring them down and that's basically what our home screen is going to look like when they have the focus icons in. So the next thing we need is to know which application name is in focus. So we can use the status text area here to do that. And basically we can set it up to be any font we want that we already have installed on our system. Um, and you can change them there with the font selection and it'll show the current application name. Next thing we're going to look at the theming the application list area. So once again we're going to just change the background out. We're going to change the focus icon to be something a little lighter blue than the normal blue that we have. You can also change any of the icons for any of the applications that are already shipped. So if we change the calendar icon to the bullets You'll see it reflected in the interface here. And you can do that for any of the focus and normal icons for any of the applications. You can also add up to 10 web links to the application list screen. So for example, if we wanted to create a link to the mobile.blackberry.com, we could do that through this. Um, and then when you click on it, it would actually go to that site. And then you can set up different icons for those as well. Next, we'll look at theming the controls, so the different buttons and dialogues, menus, etc. So let's start with the buttons. So any image you can take in and you can edit if you have it set up in your preferences. So we've selected Photoshop as our favorite editor. So when we hit edit, it'll bring us in here. And we're just going to take the image and change it to be a lighter blue. So we're happy with that. Save that out. And then we can hide Photoshop and then go back to the button and hit reload. And we got our image back. And now you can drag and drop that back onto the other images that are very similar. So the disabled highlight and the active will also make the same thing. Go into the menu screen. And we want to 
theme the cursors. So basically for cursor selection, you can have a choice between color, gradient, or image. So we're going to use gradients and basically select from these two lighter blue colors. Click OK. And there we have it reflected in the interface. We want to do the same thing for the list cursors as well. So we can select there. And click OK, and we got that. And then we'll select the multi-select. We can use the eyedropper tool to select any color on your desktop. So we're just going to pick that color. And the search field, we're going to basically make that just a color. So we're just going to use the same color there. And basically, that's our controls that we've set up. So now we have our menus and our dialogues and everything. So it's lighter shade of blue. So next we'll look into the message list. So the message list app, you can change things like the date font, the background header, and we're just going to change the priority one to a, a lighter red. The phone screens, first we'll look at the active call screen. And basically we were going to, again, go into our background images and just change it to something a little more interesting. Pick this biker on the highway, and then we can move any of these items around on the active call screen that we want. So we're just going to move the my number and the calling information down to the bottom here so it's a little easier to see in the highway than it is in the sky. Uh, we can use the alignment tools on this as well. And that's a little better, so we're happy with that. Next, we'll look at the incoming call screen. Again, swap out the background here to something else. Once again, all the images will be resized to the appropriate size here, which is 480 by 360. Again, it's hard to see some of the text again, so we'll just move this stuff down into his shirt, which is easier to see against. However, we're having trouble seeing the incoming call, so let's put a stroke on that text, and that'll bring that out. And the last thing for the incoming call is now we can add ringtones in 5.0. So any uh, sound file that you have, you can add in. So that's going to be our ringtone. 